Is Master Yen Sid's mysterious tower the only surviving piece of Daybreak Town? The first thing we can notice when looking into this theory is the architecture actually looks kind of familiar to each other, especially in the way that they use their colors. Also, the star pattern we see throughout the tower are similar to those found in the fountain area of Daybreak Town. And I know you're probably thinking the stars in the tower are there to match the aesthetic of Yen Sid's hat and the fountain uses them maybe to represent Lux or the Keyblades used in Union Cross. But bear with me because there's potentially more evidence of this connection. Before I show the biggest tell where this mysterious tower comes from, I want you to remember that we seemingly know that Daybreak and Scala are inverses of each other. So the big piece of evidence is when you look at Scala and see all these pyramid shaped islands separated by a body of water and then switch back to the mysterious tower, we can see that these same pyramid shapes with green are separated by a body of ruin as well. And they definitely look like they're similar to each other. Now this may be coincidence, but I doubt it. So what made me first look into Yen Sid in the tower is actually during my first playthrough of Kingdom Hearts 3, I noticed during the loading screen, uh, there was a post by Mickey that seemed a bit off to me. It reads, the second you're not looking, Master Yen Sid's tower pops up someplace new. Who'd have thought he had such a playful side? Playful is cap. I think the tower is moving somewhere new because it's hiding something really important. Now your first thought might be that he's hiding the Book of Prophecies, but I think what's actually being hidden is the Master of Masters box. If this ends up becoming true, then we can finally excuse Yen Sid for never helping out our main characters or leaving the tower. So I think what happens is when Yen Sid appears, to help the Guardians of Light and parts the Black Sea like Moses, I actually think what he does is teleports the mysterious tower near everybody. And it's at this moment that Luke Shu, who would recognize uh, the tower as part of his own homeworld, knew the box had to have been there somewhere. So the timeline actually kind of matches up to when Luke Shu not having the box, trying to find it, doesn't have the box seemingly uh, at the beginning of the end of the game then having the box at the end now Yen Sid could have been hiding the box knowingly but it's also still possible that he didn't know but I think it's more likely that the box was bestowed to him by Master Odin since we know Yen Sid once stood beside Ericus and Xehanort as masters safe to assume this middle seat was once where Yen Sid sat. So we know Odin gave Land of Departed and Master Defender to Ericus, and then he gave No Name and the freedom to travel freely to Xehanort. I think Yen Sid was given the mysterious tower and the box. This would be kind of funny since Pete's the one who's searching for the box, and the first time we get to meet Pete was at the mysterious tower in Kingdom Hearts 2. So close, buddy. So close. Anyways, I also found it odd that we were shown gameplay of the mysterious tower in early Kingdom Hearts 3 trailers, but it was scrapped. I mean, could this be they didn't want to spoil the connection from Yen Sid's tower to Scala, or maybe they just couldn't figure out the mechanic on how to make it world hop? Also, th this might be a bit OD, but a smaller detail that might be relevant to proving the tower is from Daybreak are the flowers are kind of similar, not not just in color, but as you can see, the, ma the master uses this flower type as a desk lamp. It's just fluorescent instead of blue. There also might be a bunch of worlds that we've already visited that are a part of Daybreak or Scala in some form whether it's familiarity with the architecture or symbols it's used, but I don't know. You tell me in the comments. Am I cooking with spices or am I cooking on crack? This was my first time doing a video like this and I usually have a hard time formulating my thoughts, so thank you for your patience. I definitely like to give this kind of video another try. 
uh, especially with my theory on why this Luxu and this Luxu can wield a Keyblade, but this Luxu can't. Help me reach my sub goal by subscribing, leave a like, and thanks for watching. to see the door to this room.